everyone's been wondering who will come out with a product that's more amazing than the iPad 2 with its big, beautiful 9.7 inch screen, super fast A5 chip, all day battery life, and elegant thin and light design. Everybody's been wondering this. Well, stop wondering. <laughs> we are. The retina display. You might have heard that an iPad could have a retina display. But until you see it, you can't understand how amazing this is. We introduced the retina display technology first on the iPhone 4, and it's incredible. And to this day, no one has yet matched that display technology in any mobile device. And we're going to bring it to the 9.7 inch screen of the iPad. When you turn on that new iPad, you are going to see graphics, text, icons sharper than you can imagine. They're just beautiful. When you go to read a book, you're going to see text that rivals anything you've seen in print, in newspapers or magazine. Everything you do is just going to look stunning, surfing the web, reading your emails, and photos are just going to look amazing at high resolution on that gorgeous big display. The new iPad display is 2048 by 1536 pixels. And if you do the math really quick, you'll figure out that's over 3.1 million pixels on this display, the most ever in a mobile device. Put another way, many of you all have an HD TV at home. These televisions, 50 inches, 60 inches, have a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Here's an iPad scaled appropriately next to it. It has more pixels. Let's overlay the photos, the same photo as they could be displayed on each of these devices. You see the iPad shows over a million more pixels than your own HDTV does at home. That's incredible. And of course, to display that many pixels, we pack them really tightly. There are 264 pixels per inch in this display. And that is enough to call it a retina display. So the new iPad has a retina display with more pixels than any mobile device has ever had. It is 2048 by 1536 resolution, over 3 million pixels. It has greater color saturation. It has the A5X quad core graphics. This is the best mobile display that has ever shipped. The second feature, an eyesight camera. Well, you know, on the front of our devices, we have a FaceTime camera. It's most often used for FaceTime video calls that our customers love making. And on the back, we have a camera. And when that camera gets of such quality and capability that you're proud to use it as your everyday camera for photographs, we call it an eyesight camera. And the new iPad has a great eyesight camera. It's a five megapixel backside illuminated sensor. We brought the optic system from the iPhone 4S, five element lens, hybrid infrared filter on it. And we have an ISP built into our A5X chip to do some great software algorithms and capabilities on this for photographs. But of course, the ultimate measure of a camera are the pictures you take with it. So let me show you some pictures taken with this new iPad. The iPad has uh, auto exposure, so it gets great exposure, great color. It has auto focus. It's incredible at the detail it picks up, and you see that lens can deliver great edge to edge sharpness and detail. It has auto face detection, so you can take individual or group shots, it knows just what to do. It has auto exposure lock and auto focus lock, so you can compose exactly the photograph you want. It is just a blast to use. That's Derby, world's largest dog. <laughs> so it has a five megapixel eyesight camera, advanced optics with an IR filter, autofocus, auto white balance, face detection, everything to deliver a great photo experience built into an iPad.
What's up, Brian Tong here, and if you want the scoop for all the good and bad inside the Apple world, then the only thing you should be watching is CNET's Apple Byte. I'll give you the latest news, rumors, tips, apps of the week, and even call out the bad apples. So watch it all at CNET.com slash Apple and I'll see you there.